All right, man. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get this stuff started. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Mark, so Mark is trying to get in her comments so she can do it, but she, mm -hmm. she not having a good, she not figuring it out. So, Mark, just tell the people what, what you down with. Apple. Apple. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Why they acting like that? So who you, you was jamming? Uh, Frank Ocean today? Yeah, we had some Frank Ocean, um, Lost and Heat Waves, Glass Animals. Heat Wave, ain't that like a seventies group? I think it's a different heat. It's a different Heat Wave. This is the yeah. new artist spotlight. Oh okay. Heat Wave is not a new artist. <laughs> the one that you're talking about. Okay. You know, Margaret got an old soul. Old soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's jump into the That's show, man. Look, welcome to the Mastermind Through Tough Times. We are your hosts, Michael G and Margaret M. I am the CEO of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, Realtor Plus Business Coach, aka <laughs> Professor X, because I peel back them layers in your mind and remove any barriers to your real estate and business success. Joined as always, my co host and girl to my right. Again, Margaret M. Since he's saying Michael G, I'm Margaret M. Also known as Mystique because I tend to <laughs> flip on people. Yeah. Negotiations. Absolutely. And as always, the one that keep y'all crunk until we get on the stage, our super producer in the back, Jammin' Jay. That's right. That's right. It should keep it real to AKA J Joseph, AKA your super producer, getting down to your real estate needs. I see what you can't see. Absolutely. So before we jump into the show, look. We want to remind you that if we that we are streaming live, live, live to the Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm business page and Success in Real Estate YouTube channel. Uh, for those that are looking at checking us out live, we invite you jump in the comments, ask questions in the live chat, possibly come on screen. Here's looking at you, Laverne Moore. Hey, you want to come on screen and have and hang out with the crew? And during the mastermind through tough times, come on, you'll like it. Uh, that's another thing that we're doing during mastermind. We're bringing on our our people that are in our guests' comments. Come on and have fun with us. Um, also, if you have a real estate need, maybe like looking to buy a house. Maybe you're looking to put a house on the market for sale. Maybe you're thinking about becoming a realtor. Or maybe you're already a realtor and you're thinking of making a change to a new brokerage firm. If that hits you, I want you to stay on a little later. So, and because we got a special message that's going to speak directly to you. Stay on, stay on, stay on. All right. With that being said, what is the mastermind through tough times all about, right? I mean, you don't understand in the name. It's cool. It's just a little bit of shop talk. Like when you go to the beauty shop or the barber shop or the nail shop and you wait. And what do we do when we wait? We be talking. And that's all this is, us talking real estate professionals talking about a little bit of nothing, right? We come on live every Tuesday at 2.30. We give y'all some commentary on what's happening on Twitter, our opinion on trending topics, along with some real estate advice to consumers and realtors. That's all it's about. It ain't hard. So with that being said, Mark, you ready to get the show going? I am. Let's jump it in then. And Laverne, when you're ready, let us know, man. We'll bring you on the screen. You can jump into this commentary with us. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be scared. Come on the camera. <laughs> All right, Mark, what we got? Okay, so our twinding topics. Twinding topics. Number one, we have Sean Payton. Trending number one. Stepping away from the Saints. What? I tell you what, I tell you what. See, that's that Cowboys in her right there. She like, yeah, I don't care. He can get up out of here. He can jump off a cliff. That's how she feel about he it. He ain't cause us no issues. <laughs> yeah, so y'all don't like them 49ers. That's what it is. No, I mean, them 49. either. They just trying to ride our our coattails into the, <laughs> to the limelight. I feel that. Oh, them boys feel like he leaving because uh, they, they signed Taysom Hill to a contract extension. Hmm. So he's saying that he don't want that boy to be his uh uh he don't want that boy to be his quarterback. Maybe, maybe not. I tell you what, he can come on over here to the Texans to that that dumpster fire. She like Mark said, I don't even want to talk about it. Let's go to the next one there, Mark. The fact that we don't use this man. 
See, uh-uh. see, all this look at him. Look at him. Look at him. This is supposed to be about Nicks, Sean Payton. Nicks, Nicks, and everybody wants to talk about that Nicks. stuff. <laughs> okay, number two, Percy Jackson. So, have you had you seen Percy Jackson? On I Netflix? have, but I've always was was fascinated by that name, Percy. Why Percy? Percy sounds so weird. So he's the son of uh, 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 Aquaman. Oh, that's all I was about to say. I mean, they're the same family. He got the trite. They might be cousins. It's Poseidon, though. Poseidon was the god's name, okay. the god of water. Uh, Percy is Poseidon's son. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Percy it's and Poseidon. Yeah. Oh, we get it now. Oh, yeah, Percy. Uh, Percy is like another name for Poseidon. Yeah, they broke control of the water. No, but Poseidon, Percy, like it sounds, it's it's better. Percy, Poseidon, Poseidon, okay. Poseidon. Is it po- how it's do you Poseidon? Spell Pos- it's, it's Poseidon. It's Poseidon. Yeah, it's Poseidon. Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's gonna be on. It's, so it's gonna be a series on Disney Plus. Okay. I like the Disney Plus series. I like I like their stories. I haven't gotten it. It's like it's too many streaming platforms. Hey. That make you broke. Well, I tell you what. The Disney Plus storylines, I like I like Disney Plus shows and I like the HBO Max shows. You know, okay. after you put me, after you put matter of fact, you put me on two of them because you put me on the Righteous Gemstones, didn't you? Yeah, they and you, crazy. And you put me on the Black Girl Sketch Show. <laughs> Margaret be they're put me crazy. on on that HBO on them HBO um, Max shows. Now Euphoria. That's another one I need to jump else. on. I don't I don't know. It's so dark. Oh, I don't. it's like dark high school. Oh no, I don't want that in my life. Yeah, them people need some life. praying parents. <laughs> I got that. What's up, Lashavia? You want to jump on the on the camera, Shay? We jump you on the camera. Let's get on the camera. Talk about Poseidon. We can talk about Poseidon. All right, what's next? Neil Young. Neil Young. Yes, Neil Young is an old school musician. So what he he what come country? Rock. He play country I think rock. rock. All right. What it was? It, he got issues. Yes. Yeah, so Who he got issues with? He, he has an issue with Spotify allowing Joe Rogan to have like a platform to, in his words, spew anti-vaccine and spew misinformation about the vaccine. Uh oh. So that boy beefing. Yes. That boy beefing he with Joe Rogan. He'll take his music off of their platform if they gonna have him on it. Spoken like a, uh, uh, an older person. Like ain't that just how well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not participate. What's well, that about? I think when you get older, you have that um prerogative. You like yeah. you know how hard I've been out here working, man. I've been man, here just, since 1932. Man, just, I have a right to take my stuff and go home. Man, just chill, bro. Just chill. Well, I don't understand why. Okay, just because the man don't have the same opinion that you have, you can't coexist with him on Spotify, like. But it's like, I think there's a fine line between your opinion and lying. It doesn't matter. It's whatever he doing. You on Spotify. He like, I can't even be in the same room with that man. Well, he might not want to even be in the same room with no liar. Well, I, more than likely, uh, Neil Young's audience probably ain't on Spotify anyway. They probably playing records, record player. So he could leave and you saying ain't nobody going no, It ain't. I'm not, no, I didn't say that. I'm saying that. <laughs> It, 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 his business is not going to have no impact because that's not where his people is anyway. That's what okay. I'm saying. So he can leave and he can make it known that I'm leaving Spotify because of this. So he's trying to prove a point. Probably. Okay. What's number four? Number four, polls. Polls? Polls. Ryan Poles. So the Bears are finalizing a deal to make Ryan Poles the Chiefs executive director of player personnel, their new general manager. Of, Ooh, it's a black guy? Is he a black guy? I don't know. What? What well, go on here, Ryan? He looks like one of the old Harris County um, um commissioners. Commissioners? Go ahead. Go ahead, Ryan. Getting on up. Getting on up. Moving on up, Ryan. Moving on up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> moving on up. General manager, man. I remember the time that the Texas had a black general manager, and he did all right. He's not the coach. Shout out, Nick's. Uh, okay, Mr. Pose, you got another Smith. 40 more years hanging in there for that coaching spot is yours. He ain't trying to be a coach. How do you know what he trying to Cause do? Because uh, anybody would take a general manager job over the coach. 
the the general manager is the one that decide who get who get brought in, who get traded. You know, they in the they in the they in the booth, they in the you know, they sitting in the club level watching the game. So they do they get more? They get paid more than a coach? Most of the time. Well, it depends. It depends. All right, let's go on to number four. The but go rock. go ahead, go ahead, go the ahead. Rock. Can you do the rock I'm wrong, Ray? You can. But doesn't he do his on the on the right side? That don't matter. This is mine. I don't think I can cut it. Mm -mm, you look like you having a conniption. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the rock. Cut it out. So I, I think it's time for us to talk about the topic. Oh, we ain't talking about the rock no more. No, nah, girl, we, we didn't been get on, a chance to get to the rock. But we've been he number five. He should have been number one oh, and number two. Okay, right. You, you need to step your your training game I think up. You right? could have knocked that Peyton story <laughs> out the way. You could have knocked that that bowl story. Today he didn't make it today. So today we talking about taxes. Okay. So them boys up there talking about we got to wait on our tax returns. For those of you who get returns. Oh, you don't get a tax return? No, I do not. Oh, you don't have to because you need to get either you need to get some kids. You need to get a house. You need to get a business. You get I have kids, a house, and a businesses. business. You need kids and a house. I have several businesses. Um, I had some several houses, too. But you know what? When you're an entrepreneurial. Kids. When you when you have a strong entrepreneurial spirit, yes, Uncle Sam really tries to stay in your pockets. Well, so not me. That boy show love to so the Davis household. Depending on which tax love. brackets you be in, you know, love. you have to, to love, pay. and I appreciate you. You have to have. appreciate you, Uncle. And I'm but not you mad. You still got to wait on it though. But but my people, they got to wait on it. They say that the they say that the they say that the the. The backlog? The back, not even really the backlog. That the IRS is so understaffed right now. Okay, they're understaffed. That for them to catch up, it may take about 10 years. But you know what? Which is a big downside to bureaucracy. What is it? I bet you they want their money on time. <laughs> so bet. oh, oh, some taxes. They're gonna be like, no, ma'am. Um, no, sir. Or but no, because they they're gonna this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna be like, oh, you're not paying? Cool. No, keep keep no, it's okay. No, no, no. You're, they no, take your time. Interest. Oh man, they they eating you up on the interest. And they're not giving people interest on the money that they're not getting on their returns. Mm -hmm. They are not. You don't get interest for you having to wait on your tax return, mm -hmm. and for them holding your money for the whole year until you come back in and be like, "Can I have my money? Let me have my money." So they want interest. So what you think these folks? Because boys be having their mind made up on what they're gonna use this tax return tax return okay, money for. Okay, well I think people generally need to not look as taxes as like um some money from the sky it's a payday baby it's but yeah maybe look at that as in like hey when i get my tax return back i'm an invested mm. don't look at it like that's your your check they and you be pay. like where, where that tax where the tax i need where, that where, tax where, money where the, where the mailman at Man, where my tax check at they gotta pay they may some people they allocate that to cover their bills like their household I, bills i know which makes things sticky well, here's the thing. You know, you maximize your tax refund based off of your income bracket, right? So if you got a low income bracket to be able to qualify you for that amount of money to come back, you probably need that money to sustain yourself because of your income bracket. Okay, so the moral of the story, side hustles. <laughs> Get some businesses. Something, sell lemonade. What's that going to do for the people? So you won't be sitting on the side of, of the curb waiting for the mailman. What is the tax? And the mailman say, man, it's going to be about 10, ten years. years before you get that return. Man, like, that's crazy. So so you've never gotten a tax refund? Not ne never. And when I did get one, it was like, I think $20 one time. Really? Yes. Oh, well, at least you didn't have to pay the man. Yeah, sometimes I had to pay. But it wasn't like a, a whole lot. Well, I mean, what's lot. the most? So, you know, we put, so, since they're not on here, we don't, you know, you can put other people's business out there. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest tax return you heard of somebody getting back? Um, I think 15000 15 grand. Yeah, that's about the same Just thing. Just because of a lot of kids, the kids. Yeah. So, 15 grand, you know, boys still out here claiming other people's kids. I, I see why if you getting, <laughs> if you can get 15. <laughs> but this way, run into problems. So, this way, you run into problems by claiming other people's kids. When it's time for that stimulus check, them now, now they getting that stimulus money, and that ain't their kid, and you not getting the stimulus money, and it's your kid, or yeah. or when you getting them getting them food stamp snap benefits, and it's based on per kid, you can't even claim your own kid. But 
but I heard through the grapevine the way it works, everybody they all get a kickback. So hey, you put um Ray Ray on your taxes. Mm -hmm. So when that stimulus come, I'm finna come back, double back to you, and, and I won't buy forty five percent of that stimulus. But I'm gonna be like, no. Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the man, hey. I have these kids. Somebody been claiming my child. I went to file my taxes, and they said I can't put Ray Ray on my taxes. Cause somebody didn't file Ray Ray. I think I know who the name is. And that ain't his kid. That ain't their kid. And so they have to the make an arrangement. Yeah, and they gonna come back to you and say, "Hey, we need all this money back." Mm -hmm. And that matter of fact, y'all gonna mess around and go to jail playing right. these playing these reindeer games with us right. with these kids. All because you. To put Ray Ray on your taxes. And guess what? You gotta wait to get your return anyway. Cause Jeez. we cause we ain't got enough staff <laughs> to even process your stuff. Yeah, Ray Ray gonna be 20. Boom. Mm -hmm. Well, you the moral of the story, Margaret? Get you a side hustle. <laughs> get, you, get you some side get hustles. Get you some side hustles. Yes. All right, we got a topic for the people today. Okay, so today's real estate topic. I'm sorry. Okay. I tend to confuse Barbie <laughs> when I just say that. She's like, we just went through the topic. Today's real estate topic yes, is the low inventory amount. Not just low, crazy, crazy low crazy inventory low. amount. Yes. So when when because you're more out there than you know, I'm not out there, Barbie. Like I don't I haven't worked with buyers. I ain't put a sign in the yard. I ain't went on a listing appointment. Like that ain't that's just not where I'm at mm -hmm. in my role. What does crazy low really mean? Crazy low inventory is when a seller puts their house on the market mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you have 40 people coming to see it that first day saying, hey, we want this house. We don't got to see it. We want it. And they doing that because it ain't no other houses out there to buy? It's, it's, it's no other. Well, it's some other houses, but not enough to meet the demand. The demand. The it's demand. The demand. When is it ever gonna change? Like, what was what would change? What would allow the inventory to where it won't be crazy? It's just low inventory. It's not crazy low. It's just low. I think if interest rates increase, oh, that's that's an, that's happening. That will um, lessen demand. Then boys, boys gonna be like, I'm good because yeah. they can't afford it no more. That will lessen affordability. Demand, yes. Yeah. Um, building more homes. Why aren't they? I mean, with the demand, the demand's been like this for years. Why aren't the builders building more homes? You think it's the bureaucracy of getting through yeah, the permit the process? And, all and I think they're trying. Mm -hmm. But then also with COVID, I think the supply chain got a mm -hmm. little screwy. Yeah, you didn't have a staff so in place. They can't build them. And then it's like, wasn't there a mm -hmm. shortage on, on materials? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you had the yeah. murder hornets. Wasn't it murder hornets or somebody that was eating so the wood? That, and then. All, maybe all the construction workers were sick. All the trades were oh, sick. Oh, yeah, with COVID. But then they was getting that good, that good unemployment money. I mean, hey, what's the difference? I mean, I get this unemployment money to be at the house, so I'll go over here and get on this roof. I'm going to be at the house. I don't know. Did they did they qualify? Did trades qualify for? I mean, I, I got me some unemployment. I'm, okay. Hey, I mean, my business don't, was don't impacted. Tell, don't, don't, don't. Hey, I'm looking out for you now. Don't put, hey, don't disregard what he just said. <laughs> strike he strike that from the record. Yeah. Strike that from the record. Yeah, he, he, he's thinking about something else. <laughs> I'm thinking about somebody else. Yes. So all of that, the Maybe. builders just wasn't selling a lot. Even, you know, they had quotas. They was like, hey, don't y'all sell more than two yeah. houses. Ain't that month. crazy? Ain't that crazy? <laughs> you would take people, you would take, so in essence, what you're saying is you would have a client that's ready to put a contract on this house. Yeah. And they was like, nah, we can't do that contract. We can put you on a waiting list because we, we, we sold our two houses for <laughs> Put them up. <laughs> Sorry. We can put you oh, on a list. Oh, my goodness. And then they was like, Margaret, we ain't paying y'all no more. Realtors, psh, no yes. more commissions. So then I was like, wow. And then they was like, yes. And I was like, ah. They was like, <laughs> yes. And I was like, no. <laughs> and they was like, yes. I was like, no. I mean, no. Bye. <laughs> we going to go down the road. Yeah. So All right. Well, so do you feel like you feel like the real estate inventory is going to increase? That is going to I, I there's think some way for it to I think it will up? as as they increase interest rates, I mm. think people will be like, oh, bumping their rates. Mm. But right now, since they know it's coming, a lot of people are trying to hurry up and buy something now, which makes the demand be higher, even more. which means that inventory gets is, even is more crazier. crazier. So it go from crazy low to crazy, crazy low yes. inventory. So if you're a seller, 
it's hey. time, might be the time to go on ahead and get in that market. Yeah, so you thinking about selling your houses now before they raise interest rates and yeah. the boroughs have a harder time purchasing. Yeah, I'm with it. Love it. Love your answer to that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Mark, you got a real estate story for us today? Oh, like real estate gone wow. Real estate gone wow. Okay, so. Poop and pools. Okay. Yeah, poop that's and the pools. Title, poop in poop and pools. Poop. Not poop in the pool. Oh, not poop in the pool. Poop no, and poop. pools. Poop and oh, pools. well, please share with us. Okay, so one. there's this this agent now. This is what I've heard. Okay, this, this is, is second hand. Because these these are these are all secondhand <laughs> stories. Like they're they're not relevant to us personally at all. Yeah. With real estate going wild. Okay. No, 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 no. So there was this particular agent, her name, let's call her Paulina. Paulina. Paulina was having an open house. Okay. Now, for Paulina was very diligent. Okay. Very meticulous. So okay. she starts her open houses like three hours early. She makes really? sure all the signs are out. Okay. She makes sure she picked up some cookies. Okay. Some cheeses, some right. meats. Putting them balloons Some out. refreshments, balloons. Yeah. Knocked on the neighbor's doors. Let oh, wow. them know what's going on. Oh, it's serious. Paulina, yes. she gets it. Paulina is on it okay okay Paulina. So, i see you i see you paulina paulina is so on it she always has like a a, a safety kit with her mm, okay so she has like a little mini stun gun because she knows she's in the in the houses yeah in case one of those yeah, buyers dangerous. come up and mm -hmm. like so she she's ready she had like a, a emergency kit with like medication so she get a headache okay all right she even has like anti diarrheal medicines. Really? She Pepto, Band Aids. Really? Ammonium. Yes. I'll all that in there. Because any of that can come on yet yes. any moment. She uh. keeps it. She keeps it with, like I said, she's a very diligent person. I feel that. So she's trying to, like, even if some guests come in and say, Oh my God, my stomach is killing me. Yeah, she Paulina can offer can that. say, I got you. Because she's a resource. Yes. And Go ahead. Like, I'm going to use Paulina. Paulina yeah. had me when my stomach was tearing me up. I need her to come through, Paulina. Come yes. on, you're the kind of agent that we need <laughs> over here, Brooks and David. Resourceful. Yes. So Paulina had about an hour before the official start of the open house mm -hmm. so she lit her candles and she always had like a vanilla cookie scent mm -hmm. scented candle okay so okay. she lit, lit that and paulina found that she was in need of some of that anti-diarrheal <gasps> oh no pepto modium medication all that she found she was in need of that oh no but paulina being the person that she is she was ready she was like you know what i did everything i was supposed to do i have a whole hour Let's go handle this. Handle the business, Paul, Pauline. Yeah, Paulina realized that there was no water at this particular home. The water was on? No, no water was on. Oh, no. This but, is kind of like the situation. Yes, yeah, so this happens a lot real quick. So <laughs> y'all be prepared. Oh, my. Be prepared. So Paulina was like, so she took some of the ammonia. Mm hmm she's like oh no i need something to work a little faster so she had to go oh no where so she went to the bathroom in the pool she, no she, no she would not so it's do not that poop in the pool, in the pool. okay yeah because that is too open come on now i mean i'm sure the neighbors would have been like oh uh, no no when you gotta go yeah so she went into the bathroom mm -hmm. and so she discovered there was no water so that's when she even no out. water in the bowl so <laughs> no water but she couldn't help it no she couldn't help it like okay <laughs> so there the tub the floor like she had to go somewhere so that's where you go in the in the toilet oh no so no so water what did in the she bowl. do so what miss paulina did now paulina was very industrious okay she had an engineering smile oh right. so she was like okay i'm gonna fix it all right i'm gonna fix it mm -hmm. which is why i dub it paulina the poop fixer <laughs> okay so paulina the poop fixer say okay what we got what we got what we got she kind of macgyvered it she said okay there's a pool in the backyard bet 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 okay i got some refreshments out i got some cups okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get these cups and i'm gonna i gotta go to that pool and i'm just dip i'm a dip and go back and forth i'm a dip i'm a yeah <laughs> she had so paulina water. was like hey i got 30 minutes now we're gonna open house <laughs> Now, sometimes people like to show up early. She but Paulina was like, you know what? I can't think about that. She's so Paulina had a plan to dip them use cups that in the pool, pool and get that water. To get that poop out that toilet. Did she make it happen? Paulina made it happen. 
Paulina is the the poop fixer because she can use a pool. She can use whatever she has at her disposal. She did not have to go and she did not have time either to go to the store and get water. That makes sense. But she had refreshments. She had plenty of cups. So Paulina double cupped it. So how did she? So how did the, the open house work out? Oh, she. It worked out fine. She got. She had like about ten people come through. Oh, that's they pretty liked good. It. That's pretty good open house. The and house was smelling fresh like she cookies. Had the candles. She had the candles. I got you, man. Wow, that's way to way to knock it out, Paulina. I see you. So that's Paulina the poop. I see it's you. A- hey, that's a great story. <laughs> y'all know we be sharing our real to go on wild stories with y'all now. So be on the lookout for next week. We got another crazy one. You got a, <laughs> you got a tip for the people. So the tip for the day is realtors. You guys, we have benefits at, um, with, they don't like to be called. Okay, with H-A-R. H-A-R, yeah. We have benefits and we are paying for those benefits. We so are paying for I it. I think it would behoove us to use the benefits. Or behoove you to use the benefits. Because look, oh, transaction yes. desk. It's yeah. not. It's a good um, mm-hmm. benefit, right? It is. You're able to keep your clients in there. Yes. You're able to when it's time to do your contracts, it automatically uploads the information from the MLS for you. Yes. So it's very efficient. Go ahead. Yes. Now there is a learning curve with it, mm-hmm. but they also provide like these helpful little videos. webinars and yes. videos. I mean. Yeah. So use it, and and it allow you to you know get your documents signed digitally. Yeah. And then they also have the opportunity where they have like people are you know naturally attracted to uh, har.com and they'd be asking questions and as a real estate professional you can go in there and you can actually answer questions and based on you know your responses they give you stars and things like that so that's a good look for your brand oh yeah you can be like hey that real to know what she's talking mm-hmm. about i might need to call her and reach her up right, right? They give you a website, but that's that's if you go platinum. Yes, they though. do give you a website. So if you if you're playing paying for platinum, mm-hmm. you'll get a website. And then they'll they'll call you with your leads. Like if you got a listing, they'll call you with the they people will. outside the house. Be like, hey, so and so interested in your house. They calling. <laughs> Boom, you want to talk to them? You want to connect with them? Come yeah. on, man, I get you on the phone. So that's 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 for that's you. a great benefit um, as well. Insurance. Okay. Well. They have um insurance connections. Yeah. So I know I use their insurance. Yeah. You know what I use, Mark? What? I use the print discount, baby. Because there's the print discount. Man, yeah. go look. Office Depot, Office Max mm-hmm. gets all my supplies money. Mm-hmm. Because and here's the crazy thing: sometimes you get a good discount, sometimes you don't get a good discount. But I never know. So I just always go there. And right. and now when they when I pull that uh store purchasing card number out there, because I'm a member of the Texas Association of Realtors. And I just sit there and wait. Mm-hmm. What's going to be the discount today? How much am I going to get off? But on that print, you get 60% off. Yes, and ink. And ink. Oh, ink, is, ink comes in clutch. Come on, man. <laughs> that one right there, yeah, man. I mean, you get like an $80 toner, yeah. like one of these big ones. You're going to get it for 50 bucks? Yeah. 50 so, bucks. Yeah. Use your benefits. Use your benefits. There's a lot of others. There's like um, rental car benefits. Oh yeah, you get love Avis. Um, I think it's Avis and Hertz. You yes, get love I rental cars. I think there's like lodging hotels. You get love. There's so much. DocuSign, DocuSign, DocuSign got his own uh uh plan that's just for realtors that are members mm-hmm. of the National Association of Real Estate. Like you can only get access to that plan mm-hmm. if you are with the H A R. Yes. Use your benefits. Yes, use your benefits. That's what you need to do. Because it's it's expensive being a member of this illustrious it group. Is. It definitely is expensive. So use your benefits. All right. Awesome. Well, mm-hmm. Margaret, great show. Oh, Margaret's show? moment. No, because oh, okay. you gotta have your moment. I'm yes. like, I don't t- I almost you took your moment have away for you. Moment. Okay, y'all. She gotta have a <laughs> she gotta have a moment. So it is it's winter time, winter ish. You know, it's hot one day, cold the next day. No, it's day. winter. If you think it's winter, winter? Well, winter starts December 22nd. Okay, so it's winter, but winter here in Houston, you like 75. It's a little different. It's a little different. <laughs> when it's cold, you know, it's, it's 41. I think it's going to be 41 today. Is it? Oh. Yeah. So with all of that, when you have winter weather, colder weather, drier weather, it usually wreaks havoc on your skin. Mm. So something that I have found what being found? a Mary Kay consultant. What you found being a Mary Kay oh, consultant? Oh, microdermabrasion. What is yes. that? Yes. Exfoliating your skin. It what? gets off the dead skin cells. So get okay. your skin turning over. So you can keep that summer glow 
all out through the window. What? Yes. So, that, so that's why you shining right that's now? That's why I be shining, Look shining, Look at her got that shine shining, on shining. her microderm abrasion. Yes. yes, microderm abrasion, exfoliation. Y'all got to get those dead skin cells off of your face. Get your new skin. Turn it over. Give you a youthful glow. Yeah. And make you feel like you're in summertime. And for them to learn more, they just need to text you fly skin. Text me fly skin. Yeah. Or at the bottom, our super producer got all my website info on there. She got you taken super care of. Super producer got it up on there. Because so. that's how she rolls. That's how she rolls. All right. So with that being said, next week we talking about binge watching. Okay. Yeah, binge okay. watching. Yeah, We're going to be looking. Yeah, it's a couple of shows I got in mind to binge watch. Keep up with it. Yeah. So we uh yeah. so y'all shop, y'all come in next week, man. Let me know what y'all be binging. Like y'all go y'all take a whole weekend and y'all just sit there and watch all five seasons. Yeah. And don't one, do nothing else with your life. One time <laughs> I was amazed like the sun started coming back. I was like, hold up. <laughs> this this show ridiculous. got me like this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, yeah. So y'all definitely stay on. Uh, real quick, got some upcoming events. Man, Margaret, we had 10 events this week that we're putting on. Wow. 10 events. We That's are wild. active. We're out here. So make sure y'all go to our Facebook business page so y'all can see all of them and y'all can get tapped in. I know we had, man, we had three of them just today. Just today, we, we're having three events. So That's at five lot. o'clock, yeah. So at five <laughs> o'clock, uh, shout out to the Young Realtors Division of NARAB. They're doing their national monthly meeting on Zoom. And uh, yours truly uh, is going to be presenting along with one of our family members, Sydney Ely. Uh, we're going to be talking about a cheerful giving in the midst of career growth. Uh, I'm also going to be presenting on the mind-body connection and how it relates to your success. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so 5 o'clock. So in the next couple of hours or so, we're going to be back on this thing. Uh, the flyers on our Facebook page go get the and the login information on Zoom is on there, so you'll be ready to go. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be conquering your fear, doing a conquering your fear training tomorrow here at the. It's going to be simulcast, so it's going to be at the office, uh, and it's going to be uh, simulcast. And we're going to be talking about how to understand fear and embrace it. You know, a lot of people stop doing what they're doing because they're scared. I'm not saying we're not saying don't be scared. Oh. We're just saying. Do it afraid. I'm scared to bungee jump. Do it anyway. We're gonna talk about that tomorrow. So, how do you understand fear and embrace it? How to revive your, how to rewire your brain, and how to think long term. So, we're doing that Wednesday at twelve o'clock. Jump on. Let's do it. Uh, Thursday stress management training. We're doing a stress management training at twelve o'clock. Yes, because it's important in our business, right? Because you know we're, it's high pace. I mean, you used the word, what was the word you said I was doing yesterday? I mean, earlier today? Cognitive, cognitive dissonance. dissonance. So my cognitive dissonance, meaning that I'm all over the place. Well, sometimes you got to <laughs> you gotta bring that down. You got to relax. So at this training, you're going to be learning the best strategies to manage, reduce, and eliminate stress. So that's going to be on Thursday. Thursday at 12 o'clock. And then we're going to be finishing out Thursday with a happy hour uh, sponsored by Adelina Haskins. Uh, with Armadillo Home Warranty, they offer affordable subscription-based protection for when appliances and systems break down. Nice. And also, they have they they use unmatched technology, so we'll be able to learn this on Thursday from Adelina and, and Armadillo Home nice. Home Warranty. They have an unmatched technology to create a, a driven customer experience. It drives their customer experience. Uh, how they utilize technology. Nice. So all this going to go down at the happy hour. All this going to go down at the happy hour. We're going to learn. We're going to meet Adelina and we're going to learn about all of this stuff that she has uh, and, and what Armadillo offers. And we're going to get some drinks and we're going to get a little bit of hors d'oeuvres. Okay. So uh, make sure, look, the flyer is going to be on the Facebook page. So for the location, that's how you're going to learn about it. Uh, and then this Saturday, yours truly, we're going to be speaking at a summit, Youth Mental Health Symposium. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to be speaking at that on this Saturday, not Sunday, this Saturday from 8 to 12. Um, as you all know, drugs, social injustice, technology, education, um, the, pandemic. the pandemic, a weakened family structure. All of those things are diminishing the social, emotional and behavioral learning of children all over the world, not just in our community, in multiple mm -hmm. communities children are experiencing this so mental health is important 
So I'm going to be speaking. I'm doing a breakout session. I'm also going to be on a panel. You know, I was the PTO president, currently still the PTO president. Um, they're going to be having me talk about parent engagement because uh, I've been I have a, over 10 years of experience in that with my kids elementary school. So How long have you been the PTO president? I've been the PTO president maybe going on seven years. I've okay, been the so president. ain't nobody voting you out. Hey, man, look, when you got what when you got it, you got it. Oh, uh, you got have no term limits. When you got it, you got it. Okay. <laughs> must be doing something right. Ain't must be. That's what I'm saying. So this Saturday, uh, 8 to 12 at the Church at Bethel's Family. Again, all the information is on our Facebook business page. All right. And again, there were some others that we didn't mention. So go to the Facebook business page. There's some more. There's more. I told you 10. We had 10 events that we did <laughs> this week. So there it is. Again, remember, if uh, we have a special message for everybody, if you're in the market, buy, if you're market to sell, if you're thinking about getting this business, if you are already licensed and you're considering making a change, um, to stay on afterward. Um, with that being said, this has been the Mastermind Through Tough Times. I am Michael G. Davis. And I'm Margaret. And I am the CEO of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, Realtor Plus Business Coach, aka Professor X, because I peel back and remove any barriers to your real estate and business success. Joined as always, my co host, girl to my right, Margaret M., also known as Mystique, because I flip on you when it comes to negotiations. I suck nice. Don't mess with me, y'all. I get real mean. I don't like it, but I will turn into she Mystique. gonna get on you. And as always, the one that keeps y'all crump, we're gonna go ahead and throw it to the back. Boom! Got it, got it. Great show, guys. Man, Mastermind Through Tough Times just keeps getting better and better. It should keep it real to Jay Joseph, a.k.a. X-Ray, getting down to your real estate needs. I see what you can't see. For those that have a real estate need, if you're looking to buy, sell, invest, or get into real estate, stay tuned to this next message. We have something special for you, and we look forward to seeing you next week on Mastermind Through Tough Times at 2.30. Take care. Hey. This is Michael G. Davis, CEO of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC. I am also a realtor plus business coach. If you are currently have a real estate need or you're in the process of getting your real estate license or maybe you've already gotten your license. Awesome. Watch this whole video because I have some outstanding news just for you. Now, if you are considering buying a home we want you to know that we offer at no cost or commitment to schedule a showing for you to see any property in the Houston Metroplex. But when you hire our real estate company to help you, we will hold your hand and guide you through the home buying process step by step. Visit our website or give us a call at the number shown to learn more. Or maybe you're considering putting your home on the market for sale. We want you to know that we offer at no cost or no commitment a couple of things. First is a free neighborhood buying and selling activity report for your home. This report will show you the amount of buying and selling that has taken place within your neighborhood within the most recent six to 12 months. All we need is your mailing address and email address to get the report over to you. We also offer at no cost or commitment a free in-person property condition home evaluation. This is where one of our real estate professionals will come into your home and give you recommendations and advice on what changes to make to the condition of your home and talk with you about how these changes could help sell your home faster and or for more money. But when you hire our real estate company to help you sell your home, we will put your home in front of more active home buyers than any other realtor. Just visit our website or give us a call at the number shown to learn more. Finally, if you are in the process of getting your real estate license or with a brokerage firm and thinking of making a change, we want you to know that we offer at no cost or commitment for you to be able to attend any Brooks and Davis real estate firm training or event. But when you join our firm, we will show you how to get everything you want using your real estate license. And what we believe real estate professionals want are an outstanding quality of life, 
the freedom of having options and the ability to pursue what makes them happy. Visit our website or give us a call at the number shown to learn more.